Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I am so, so, so excited for my short story. This is one of the great loves of my life. Um, I love short story because they are style service for the short and tiny like myself. So I think it's like five, four and below that they style for and I enjoy getting some smaller pieces that fit because you guys have seen other boxes. I have boxes where all of it, half of it is too big for me. So I get excited when I get this box because usually the pieces fit me quite a bit better. So let's go ahead and just like dive into it. Let's be excited. Uh, short story is a style service similar to most of the other ones where you do get five items based off a of stylist. There's a styling fee of $20 that gets applied to anything you purchase. If you are interested in trying it, I do have a referral link below. And that's the main gist of it. So let's just dive right in because I, this has been sitting in my house for a couple days and I am so ready to dig into it. Okay, and there's my beautiful bundle and I see something olivey, which looks awesome. Okay, first off, by T. Tahari, I've got this gray, it's a ribbed, but it's like a, a sideways ribbed sweater, and it is cropped, which is kind of the aesthetic that I've been looking for. This is kind of your boxy cropped, but I think that is cute, and is by T. Tahari, I can't remember if I mentioned that. So I like that piece a lot. It's a nice, it's a nice top. Then we have by Petite Principle, we have this square neck top, a burgundy top, and I think that will be a great piece to tuck into some wider leg pants or some straight leg jeans. So I think that is really cute. Then we have by Blink NYC. Ooh. Look at this number. Okay, I love this. I'm so hopeful that this fits me. And obviously it is an olive moto style jacket with the kind of micro suede material and I am a fan. So very, very hopeful that that will fit me. Then we have by Cut by the Cloth. This is the, a just a nice clean pair of skitties. I like the dark wash of these quite a bit and again they will be great for wearing to the office. Then we have, uh, this is by Topshop. I don't, I've never tried Topshop jeans before and these are straight leg. These are kind of your, your vintage look to it which is definitely in it as is the straight egg, egg leg. And it does have a raw hem on it, so if it is too long, I'll be able to cut it or fold it or roll it or something like that. So these are very, very cute. I'm excited to get these on as well. So without trying stuff on, so far this box seems like a winner, but let's try it on. I'm very excited. Okay, so I've got my first outfit on and I am a fan. Okay, so first of all, I put this jacket on and said yes. Here's why. First of all, sleeves, not too long. That's my biggest problem. I keep these jackets because I think, okay, it fits pretty well. Later on, I go to put it on and the sleeves go down to here and I feel ridiculous. And it's like, why did I keep this? I have done that to so many jackets. It makes me really sad. So look at this, great length of the sleeve. So really happy with that. I feel it does not seem too big at all, but also not too tight at all because there are some that I actually have gotten elsewhere that have been too tight in the bodice. You know, the sleeves have been great, but then the bodice is too head tight. This is perfect. I love it. Let's turn the hair back so you guys can see it. Mm-hmm. 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 What do you guys think? But I'm really happy with it. So, oh, and here's it unzipped so you can see that aesthetic. I just have the gray sweater on underneath it, but give you guys a look at it. Uh, okay, so obviously I'm excited about the piece. Now, the jeans. The jeans are great, great length. I don't even have them rolled up, though maybe I will 
Let's roll one up to see what we think of that. I actually think I might like this a little bit better unrolled because it's got just this the slightest, you know, opening in the ankle and I feel like it works for a shoe like this, although I guess the roll works as well. Uh, my problem with this is they seem to be slightly too loose on the top, so I may see if I can exchange it down on these if they have a smaller size available. Plus I know the rumor is cut by the cloth stretches out, so I'd rather go a little bit too tight than a little bit too loose. But it's, other than that, a little bit of looseness up here. It's just a great fit, great length. I like the dark wash a lot, so winner there. All right, last up is the sweater. And I really like it. I like the length of it, it, it because it is one that is a crop without being too cropped. There's a delicate balance for me there. I Aesthetically, I am enjoying things that are shorter, but I do not want my midriff hanging out. So I am, you know, finding a good balance of how does that crop work for me. And this one is one of my, kind of my favorite lengths because I have some that I like and it does feel like I'm just like hanging out right there at the line. And this one, I've got just a little bit of extra room. The sleeve length is great. This is obviously the style is meant to be kind of that boxy style, but I think it gives it a cute kind of slouchy look to it. And then it is a boat neck, so you guys can see that. And I think it's really cute. So this one I'm not like obsessed with, so this one will be a matter of if the price is right. Like the jacket, the jacket most likely is gonna stay, but this one might depend on price. Okay, next outfit. Okay. I'm kind of going for a double look here in the shoe thing, so we'll get to that in a second. So let's start with the top. The top I think is really cute. I feel very kind of femi pretty, feminine, dressy. I could very well see myself, you know, wearing this to work, but also kind of wearing it to, you know, kind of any activity. So it's dressy, but not too dressy to wear it in regular life, and I do like this look of it tucked into the jeans. The jeans were kind of the opposite of like the cloth where they, because they're kind of vintage they don't have a lot of stretch to them. So I did kind of have to wiggle into them a little bit and I haven't checked out to see if I feel like I'm being pancaked here or not. But I really like this look. The These type of jeans I just feel like serve do really well as far as having kind of a tuck shirt into it to give kind of almost that um, 80 silhouette, if you will. And um, so I wasn't sure this type of shoes to wear with these. So I tried a couple of different things. So normal Jen would probably wear with a crop pant like this because these were actually shorter than I thought they were going to be. So normal Jen would probably wear a flat with them and just kind of let a bit of ankle show. This is more crop than probably anything I really have. So that takes a little bit of getting used to. And then I did w try kind of the, just cause you do see a bit of like straight legs with a booty and even a crop with a booty. So I tried just this heel black booty. So what do you guys think? You guys are actually so helpful when I'm not entirely sure getting people's feedback. Usually you all are pretty united of like, Ooh, that doesn't work or, or I love it, you know, so I love your guys' feedback. So shoes, what do you like better? Okay, so that, this is a great box. Everything fits for the most part. I don't know what the prices are, so hopefully this stuff will be affordable because I like a lot of it. So let's go over prices. Okay, so here we go. I am excited to make some decisions. Okay, so we'll go, we'll take a round through, decide what we're maybe going to keep, and then probably make our final decision. So, Petite Rib Knit Sweater by Tahari. This is $42.65. I really liked it. I like the length of it a lot. I like that it's kind of a neutral, so I can pair it with, um, you know, different colors. Like burgundy. I've got some burgundy bottoms that this would look nice with. Okay, so that kind of raised it in standing. So I'm a maybe on this. Then we have the Petite Raham Crop Straight Leg Jeans, and these are 
$58. Now they do have notes about all of these, by the way, because you do send in your measurements and they are aware when things run large. And so they might send you a larger size, but they're putting a note that's like, it actually fits like a smaller size. So I'll actually show that to you guys. Spoiler alert on the prices. I'm still gonna read them off, okay? So, um, so anyways, this is a 25 petite, but actually fits like a 24. So, um, I like this. Might have to, I think I might have to run this past my husband and get his opinion because he's really good about letting me know what types of je what jeans he thinks looks good and he's he's better at style than I am and I'm the one with a fashion channel. It's very disgraceful. So um <laughs> anyways I'm a maybe on that as well. And and I'll say this I if they had a buy all five discount which they do not I would totally be buying all five but they do not. So the this is the blank NYC vegan suede moto jacket ninety eight dollars. So that's pretty standard for a jacket like this, but I'm going to keep it because I do have a little bit of credit. So I am going to use the credit on that because I like. All right, then we have by Petite Principle, the Chelsea Square Neck Long Sleeve Top, and this is $48. Again, I liked it quite a bit, but I have a lot here I want to keep, so it's a maybe again. And then we have the Cut by the Cloth Petite Boyfriend Jeans, $68. And that is why they were a little bit loose. They're boyfriend jeans. I'm so used to like your skinny, skinny jeans that I, I, I'm confused by anything else. So these are more relaxed fit, which they said they're zero petite, but they fit like a two petite, but that's because it's a boyfriend style. So it is gonna be a little bit more bigger and slouchier. So that, that kind of changes things because it's like that's what it's supposed to be. I don't know. So a maybe again. I do like that they are a little bit looser, comfortable. So that's a maybe. If I bought everything, it would be $314. I do have some credit to help out. So thank you, thank you, thank you for those of you who use my referral link. Again, if you want to try the service, I do have a referral link below. So they were all maybes. The one yes was the jacket. And I don't know what else to keep. So I could use some help, guys. Uh, hopefully I will get this posted before I check out. That will be my goal. And I'm gonna need some opinions. I need you guys to help me out. Uh, other than the jacket, I'd like to keep only one other thing, just for budgetary reasons, one or two, we'll say. So let me know. I need help. It's too good of a box. This is a good problem to have. This is a very good problem to have. So hopefully you guys enjoy that box. I'm sorry I do not have a resolution as of yet. I will make sure to list these items in the description and then once I make a decision, I will list out what I kept and what I didn't keep. That way, if you watch it after I make a decision, then you will know. So thanks guys, thanks for the help. And uh, hopefully you like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, then please subscribe below. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Okay.